Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video. How are y'all doing? It's finally May. Uh, the year's going by pretty fast. I think it's because of all the bad news <laughs> we've been getting lately. But I got some good news for y'all today, at least for me. Man, my M1 Finance portfolio is finally back in the green for the all time in the past month and week or whatever you want to call it. I'm finally up, back up in the green, which is great. Unfortunately, my Robinhood portfolio for the past three months and a year is still down because of uh, the previous, you know, two or three months, basically. But I'm not worried about that because, you know, that is my dividend investing uh, portfolio. This, my MO Finance portfolio, has dividend stocks, but it is not solely a dividend investing portfolio. It's dividend slash growth. Uh, yes, growth of dividends, but growth as in like value and growth investing as well. And I'm gonna go over today what's going on with my portfolio, uh, what new positions I have, which you guys should already know. If you don't, you'll figure out today. Actually, I hadn't added any new positions, but I have been buying certain ones. Uh, if you don't know how M1 Finance works, they basically use pie charts. You create a pie chart. Let's say I want half to go to Tesla, half to go to Google. So any amount of money I put in there, half will go here and half will go here. Let's say I'm overextended or I have doing very well in Tesla. Um, then if I'm, to, if I'm past my 50%, then they won't add any more in Tesla. They'll just continue adding it in, uh, what did I say, Google or whatever it may be, but you'll see in a minute. But look guys, I just want to thank y'all so much before we get into the meat and gritty, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, the meat and the real nitty gritty of this video in my portfolio. Thank you guys so much for getting me to 550 uh, by the end of April. That was over a hundred subs we did last month and like, I'm there. I, that's the most I've done this whole time, this whole year. And last last month made a year. Um, actually, April 18th made a year. I've been doing YouTube. Um, thank you guys so much. I finally got my second video that hit uh, over a thousand views, which is big, big for me. Like it's a lot for me. It's it's awesome. I'm, I'm glad to see the growth. Um, obviously, I'm doing something right. You guys are liking whatever. Uh, shout out to this sword back here. <laughs> I had a couple people comment on it. Uh, maybe, you know, one day I'll take it down and uh, show you guys. Matter of fact, hey, if we can get to, let's say, 50 likes on this video, I'll uh, do something special for y'all on the next uh, show with that sword or whatever. Next video with that sword. <laughs> but all right, guys, look, let's go ahead and jump into uh, my portfolio and I'll go over what's been going on with it. So here we have M1 Finance. So guys, check it out. M1 Finance have a cash balance of $1.76. We balling. But anyway, listen, I started this in yeah, September 30th of 2019. And as of the 26th of, I'm filming this on the 26th. Um, but as of the 26th, which is today, my portfolio is $1,390.43. And remember, um, I'm only investing $5 a day in this portfolio, right? And it's $35 a week. I figure if you can invest $5 a day, $35 a week, um, not everyone could do, you know, 200 bucks a week, 100 bucks a week, 300 bucks a week, whatever it may be. So I figure a lot more people can do $35 a week than that large amount of money. So I wanna show you guys that it is possible to make decent gains and just, Start investing with a small amount of money. Uh, if you guys want to check out, I'll leave a link right here, a card, um, investing, what investing a dollar a day looks like. And I use Acorns to invest $1 a day just to show you guys that you can do that. I'll leave, a, like I said, a thing up here. So my net cash is, so everything I put in here so far is $1,300, $1,309.17, my total gains my market earn i'm sorry my market gains is 81 dollars 26 cents my total gains is 88 dollars 21 cents so my dividends earned is six dollars and 96 cents and i'll go over the dividends i got for this month and uh, last month well april and march march and april because i didn't do uh, march and april but i'll show you guys but yeah so let's see on the month on the month we are up Quite a bit. On the month, we're up 22, uh, 
25. $254.06, which is a 25% return, almost a 26% return, which is fantastic. Boom, I love it, in a month. Now let's see, over the past week, I'm down 10 bucks, 70, less than 1%. And over the past day, which would have been Friday of last week, <clears throat> um, I got, I'm up $21.75, which is $1.59. And over the past week, I didn't earn no dividends. Past month, I earned a dividend of 73 cents or, or multiple dividends. I'm sorry for moving my camera like that. I bombed the thing. But yeah, so um, up $254 this past month, which is pretty great. Um, I'll, I like that a lot. <laughs> so first, before I jump into the portfolio, let's check out the activity I had going on. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna click activity. So the only dividend I captured in April is O Realty Income, which is 35 cents. Now let's see March. In March, I captured when Resorts, which is 63 cents. In March, I captured 26 cents from Realty Income. I captured 30 cents from VU, which is the ETF index fund. And I captured 84 cents from Lamar Advertising Company. Not too bad, but if we look back earlier this year, you can see that my, at least my Realty Income has been going. You know, January 15th here, we have uh, 14 cents. Then the next month, it's 19 cents. Next month, 26 cents. Now, this month, it's 35 cents. So we're getting closer and closer to a dollar here. And uh, we are adding money every week, $35 a week, which is $5 a day. Now, let's get into the holdings of this here power. So first of all, we have Tesla, big bad Tesla. We have Tesla here. And it takes up about 12% of my it takes up about 12% of my portfolio, and I'm up all-time all high. I'm up 140%, which is $68.93. I own 0.22103 of a share. My cost is $91, and my average share price is uh, $413.34. So I got in before that huge spike we had a couple months ago. So next we have Amazon, and Amazon is Amazon is 9% of my portfolio. And as you can see here, my all time high, I'm sorry, my all time, all, my, the whole time I've been owning it, um, I'm up 39, 39%, which is $24.64. Um, I have about almost 100 bucks invested into this. I own 0.04877%, so not a whole lot, but that's what is so good about using M1 Finance. Um, it uses fractional shares, meaning I don't have to have all $1,900 or $2,000 to invest in Amazon. I can invest a dollar if I wanted to, or $10, which is great for someone who doesn't have a lot of money to get into a stock that has such a high barrier to entry like this does. Um, but my average price is $1,900. Uh, so I got in uh, you know, under $2,000, which is definitely, definitely great for me. Next we have the big bad Insego. Now Insego is a very small company. Well, a lot smaller than most of my other companies in here. But it's overperforming so much that I have double the amount that I'm supposed to have in it. So I'm only supposed to have 4%, but I have 8% in it because of how well it's doing. Um, Insego Corp is a 5G company if you don't know what it is. And I got in at seven dollars and 20 uh, 25 cents is my average cost as of right now and i just want to show you guys exactly what it's performing at right now it's twelve dollars and 83 cents so that being said i have a 48 dollar and 93 cents gain which is almost a hundred percent 97.15 percent gain um awesome <laughs> i love it this is that's great and i only spent about 63 dollars to get into it which is pretty great. Next we have Google Alphabet. So I'm underperforming on my all-time high. I have 0.08276% of a share. I bought it at around $1,359.71. Um, and right now it is performing at $1,279.31. 
So, uh, I mean, it's Google though. You know what I mean? It's it's going to, my opinion, this is a stock if you buy, you, you never get rid of it. Because uh, it's so crucial, so beneficial. Like it's, 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 everyone uses Google. Like it's just, that's the way it is. Um, but regardless of that, out of these, the, I haven't had a um, dividend stock yet, but my next stock, Apple, which I'm under underweight on, is a dividend stock. Uh, and my all-time high, I'm down $1.33, which is 1.98%. I have 0 0.037268 of a share. My average price is $287. And right now, it is $282.97. So, but I am getting dividends from this and the, the, the dividends automatically get reinvested back into the stock itself, not into the cash balance. Next, we have another dividend stock, Wynn Resorts. And uh, on 1.36975 of a share, my average share price is $95.33. I own, and well, right now in the average price is uh, $76.61. So I'm down uh, 29% which is negative $25 basically. Uh, but it is a dividend stock, so it is automatically getting reinvested into it. Next, we have Realty Income. I'm underweight on it. I own 2.07399 shares of this bad boy. Uh, my average price is $62.53. It's trading at $49.92, which in my opinion is undervalued. So, it's a great time to buy this bad boy. And I'm down, what, 43%? That's kind of whack, but uh, hey, we're gonna keep pushing. Next, we have Microsoft. I've uh, been wanting to get into Microsoft. This is one of my newer positions. Um, I'm still underweight on it. It is underperforming just a little bit, but we are up 21%, which is $12.15 on here. And I own a little over half a share for this. Uh, as you can see, I bought it at 115.64, and right now the average price is 174.55. Sweet, I love seeing green. Next, we have Exxon Mobil, which is also underweight, um, but I own 1.84412 percent, uh, not percent shares of it. So almost two sh complete shares. I'm up 24.88 percent, which is 12 dollars and 68 cents. And that my average price is $36.86, and right now it's up to $43.73, which is great. It is a dividend paying stock as well. These past one, two, three, four are now let's see five. My next dividend stock, IBM International Business Machine. It's underweight a little bit. Um, I own a little, well, close to three quarters of a share. I own 0.63178% of a share. My average price is one dollar, hundred and seven dollars and seventy six cents. The average price, the price is trading at now is one dollar twenty four cents. Uh, I don't know what's going on with me right now. One hundred twenty four dollars and seventy two cents. Matter of fact, hey, why don't y'all hit that thumbs up button for me? Always messing up my words and jumbling, blah, blah, blah. see jumbling them around. So just go ahead and destroy that to let me know that you guys are laughing at me behind the screen. Uh, anyway, I'm up 20% on IBM, which is $10.73. Again, it is underweight. Uh, but once I rebalance my portfolio, which I'll probably do in another month or so, depending on what happens between then and now, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably do it then. Next, we have VU. If you don't know what VU is, it tracks the S&P 500. I'm overweight on it. And uh, I'm actually down 9% because the entire market's down. Um, this is a dividend paying ETF or index fund or whatever you want to call it. I own 0.0, I own 0.29955%. I got in at $281.12. It's trading at $206.14 right now. So I'm down 9%, which is $5.61. Next we have Mass Tech. Another great company that is very undervalued right now, in my opinion. Um, I got in at $26.47. Right now, it's trading at $33.23. I have almost two shares of this bad boy. I'm actually in a swing trade with this right now with uh, 
Weeble. I don't know why I look behind me, <laughs> but with Weeble. So, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know how that goes. But uh, it's $33, th up 33%, so almost 34%, and I'm up $13.46. This is great. This is not a dividend stock also, by the way. Next, we have Activision. Activision, I'm up 14.80%. I almost own an entire share of this bad boy. Bought at $57.09. Right now it's trading at $66.65. Um, so I'm up $8.57 on here. This is a dividend paying stock. Wait, or is it? I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. It's a dividend paying stock. Matter of fact, let's go check it out. Because I am so um, forgetful sometimes. So yeah, it is a dividend paying stock. Next we have Lamar. Advertising company, we're down 45.76%, which is horrible. I'm down $29, almost 30 bucks. I own 1.31558 of a share. I bought it at $72.79, right now trading at $49.52. So it's very underperforming and I'm underweight on it as well. I uh, definitely want to get my average price down on it a little bit. Uh, actually, I might drop my percentile in in it down somewhat next we have xpxl direction daily 503 500 bull three times the shares if you know don't know what that means it's just a big fancy word for uh losing money <laughs> right now but uh so 46 uh, it's down 46 percent it's down <clears throat> so it's down 46 percent which is 25 dollars and seven cents um i have one 0.6181 shares. I bought it at $48.79. Right now it's being traded at $33.24. So guys, this is my portfolio. As you can see here, we making money. We're back in the green. We up almost hundred bucks. We are up 16.46%. Let's see if we can hit 20% uh, by the end of May. Hopefully we will, but let's get out the phone. But guys, look, if you want to try um, M1 Finance, I have a link in the description. If you sign up using this link, you will get $10 for free to go towards your portfolio, and I will get $10 as well. Remember, my channel is not monetized. I don't make any money from it. The only little bit of compensation I make from it is when you guys use my links in the description, my affiliate links for these brokerages is the only way I get a little bit of money from it. But you guys know I do this for the love. Uh, so you don't have to use it. If not, if you do want to try it, use the link below so you can have a little bit of a head start, you know, to use these brokerages or whatever. But again, thank you guys so much for getting me to above 550 by the end of April, which is over 100 subs. I've never done 100 subs in a month. You guys are the shit for getting me <laughs> over 100 subs. But uh, look, if you got any questions about any of the stocks, that I have in my portfolio here. Uh, let me know in the description below and we'll talk about it. Let me know uh, what you guys want to see from me, what type of content you guys want to see from me. Um, I feel like I could be doing a lot more than what I have been doing, but uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to see past the horizon a little bit. <laughs> But uh, again, guys, thank you guys so much for everything you've been doing. I also got some good news coming in the next couple of videos, possibly, maybe. Uh, well, we'll see how that goes. But again, guys, look, smash that like button to support this channel. It really helps out. It lets the YouTube algorithm know people need to see your boy a little bit. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're still watching this video, go ahead and click that red subscribe button. Turn it great to join this little family we got going on. It's all about love. It's all about pushing each other forward on this here channel. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos. And look guys, I hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys are making smart decisions, both financially, uh, investing wise, and with your health. Um, stay safe out there and just keep pushing. Y'all have a great day.